euro dollar. So setbacks have extended into Thursday trade with the market dropping sharply on Wednesday and now trading very close to that July base at 108.09. Clearly the pressure remains on the downside and if we do see any corrective rallies they should be limited to the 113 area. At this point only a close back above 113 would take the immediate pressure off the downside. Sterling dollar. So cable continues to trade lower with the market having been well capped above 155 and the focus now is on a retest of that low that we saw going back to September 30th at 151.07. At this point any rally should be very well capped ahead of 154 while ultimately only back above those recent highs in the 155.10 area would take the pressure off the downside dollar yen. So dollar yen has been bid up in recent sessions, although the market has found very good resistance ahead of that critical August resistance, that August high at 121.74. While the market holds below 121.74 on a closed basis, the structure continues to favor additional bearish consolidation ahead of what could be a next downside extension, eventually back towards that August base at 116.12. For now, look for a break back below 120 to confirm and accelerate declines, while inability to do so and a break back above of 121.74 would negate and put the pressure back on the top side. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss continues to be locked within a multi-day consolidation, although the market is also confined to a broader recovery structure, and eventually we should see upside above 110.50, that recent high, and towards a measured move objective at 112 further up. At this point, only back below 107.14, those lows going back to mid-August would compromise the recovery outlook. Aussie dollar. So Aussie dollar remains locked within a well-defined downtrend with the market recently stalling out ahead of 74 and rolling back over towards a retest of the recent multi-year low just ahead of 69. At this point, deeper setbacks are favored below 69, while ultimately only a pushback above 74.40 would take the pressure off the downside. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD continues to trade with a very constructive outlook as the market has been supported in recent dips in the 128 area and now is poised for a resumption of gains back above the recent 11 year high at 134.57. At this point, setbacks should continue to be very well supported on dips into the 130 area, while only back below 128 would compromise the structure. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi setbacks are accelerating to the downside after the market stalled out in the 69 area and the market looks to be putting in a lower top in favor of a broader bearish resumption back down towards the recent multi-year lows towards the 60 area. At this point only back above the 70 area would take the pressure off the downside. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 continues with its impressive surge following that uh, low that we saw back in August 1833 and the market is now within a stone's throw of that record high from May at, one tw at 2137. At this point the recent break above 78.6 FIB retracement off of that May record high to August low move has been exceeded and this does open the door for the possibility of a 100% retracement to 2137. Any, uh, any setback should now be well supported while only a break back below recent lows that we saw at 2058 would take the immediate pressure off the top side. Gold. So although we've seen some minor setbacks in recent trade in the gold market, overall the recovery outlook here remains intact following that break above 1170 several days back. And this break above 1170 does suggest that a higher low should be carved out ahead of the next major upside extension in this market back towards the 1233 area. Ultimately setbacks should be very well supported ahead of 1135 while only a close back below 1100 would force a shift in the outlook for gold.